Hello everyone, it's Cassie from Con Grooming and today we're gonna be grooming a mini schnauzer. Keep watching. So this here is, I had to overthink that. The, what, the name? Yes. <laughs> what is his name? It's spelled Kaomi. Okay. But the name is Kiva. I looked at Erin and I was like, is Kaomi coming tomorrow? She goes, no, Kiva is. I'm like, oh, that's right. She's gonna get her full groom today. We're gonna get her in the bath. We're gonna cut her down pretty short. And then we're gonna give her a schnauzer cut. And when I spoke to dad, he wants to keep her brows a little bit shorter than last time, but keep that look of the schnauzer. And then we're gonna end with the skirt on her. And so let's continue. Okay, so this dog has the most softest fur I have ever felt the on she? a dog giving a bath. It's amazing. Okay. <laughs> It works sometimes. All right, so this here is Kiva, which I call Kaomi because of the way that her name is spelled. So I want to just keep everyone in mind, all schnauzers are different. Different length, different height, different hair types. And also, I'm not a show groomer, will not be a show groomer, and I'm going by the directions that the owners have given me for their dog. So if there's some groomers out there that are watching the video and going, no, 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 you can't do that. I'm letting you know that I'm following the directions of the owner. We're gonna do her nails, bottoms of the feet. This is typical, this is normal. You're good. And I really don't mind showing this because I'm, I'm, I'm not changing anything. And I'm letting her know like, hey, we gotta do the nails and see she's already over it. Right? She's good, she's over it. But she just needed to scream a little bit just to show me like, hey, I don't like this. There we go. As a professional, we have to coach her that this is the right thing to do. So Kiva here is gonna go on the short side and for groomers, that's gonna be a seven. And then I'm going to make a skirt and come down and fade that. And the skirt, I don't know what level the skirt's gonna be at, but the legs are gonna be longer. So before I got started, I already brushed her out, her body, her legs, her face. Now her face did have a couple of knots, so I just wanted to point out, uh, almost like my undercoat rake, where it helps with the de-shedding that we do. So this one here, this one goes through her fur. And you wanna do this as easy and light as possible so it doesn't hurt them. And as you can see, it'll take it and break some of that hair apart. And then you can use your comb and come back in she did have a couple of knots on her, so I've already brushed out. A lot of people have seen the way that I have done this around them. Usually, we'll put it around their neck. Sometimes, we'll even seat belt it and put a portion of this around here, back behind the leg, and this one is around the neck. This is if they have any issues with trachea choking. I usually do this with younger dogs, and I'm doing it with her. So I also do have my chunkers nearby. So if I have to blend this, I can. You can use a blade. You can use one of those wider blending blades if you want to. But usually when it comes to schnauzers, a lot of times the book and the regulations, they come down here, etc. Mom and dad don't want that. So we're following by the way that mom and dad want to do, and that is okay. And we just want to make our clients happy and do exactly what they want to do. The owners want her legs to be long, so I'm going to fade my clipper into the legs. And all of this is going to be neatened up. I just have to create the line first. Good girl. That looks good. Those look good? Yep. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Continue. Okay, good girl. I'll get the rest of that with this scissor.
Your hair is so super soft. I love it. Like, I think that's how the dogs like to cuddle with when they talk. Like, here, I have some soft hair. He's soft with your hair. And then there's some sections I'm doing with a 7, and there's some sections I'm doing with a 10. And then I'm going to do her ears and more of her brows with the 10. So she has softer hair than most schnauzers do. Um, a lot of salt and pepper schnauzers usually are on the wiry side. Yeah, that's what they are. They're really wiry. That's why I'm so surprised with this one. Yeah. Good girl, Kiva. Oh, look at the inside of those ears. We're going to take care of that. Good girl, Kiva. Outside of your ears. Now the trick is with cutting inside of ears and trying to get all the way to that rim. You can take like a 15 or a 10 and shave to the tip. And sometimes you gotta take your scissor and do the rest. So my finger is right on the tip of her skin so I don't accidentally cut her. So for here, let's try this again. My finger, my thumb and my pointer are actually holding the tip of her ear. So if I accidentally cut her, I can't. I'll just cut myself. I'd rather cut myself than a dog. Gonna do the basic shape and then we'll do the length in a bit. Dad's already told me I don't want her eyebrows too long. What did he say? Window blinds or something? Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, I never heard of that uh, one. That's window cute. Shades. Window shades. <laughs> yes, that's what he said. <laughs> oh, what a good keeper. Yeah, I'm gonna shorten it. So this here is Kiva, the schnauzer, and she did a wonderful job for her groom today. And I'm still gonna call you Kaomi. So I'll see you guys in the next video.